you for visiting Indian River County. It's always an honor and pleasure to have uh, you guys here. Uh, an exciting day. Last night, uh, Deputy Dave Dozier, with 26 years of experience, uh, was patrolling the Vero Lake Estates area around 11.43 p.m. when the call came out. Uh, Deputy Dozier was there in less than two minutes, uh, saw this vehicle that you all have seen heavily engulfed, uh, and ultimately saved the lives of this male subject. His condition is unknown at this time. He's at the Burn Center in Orlando. Uh, but the exciting or the ironic thing about this is this is the second burned vehicle that our deputies have been courageous enough and brave enough to risk their own lives in rescuing someone that uh, inevitably would have perished with those fires. Um, Deputy Dozier is here after working all night last night to answer any of your questions about uh, the actions that he took last night that clearly saved this person's life. And it's another safe day in Indian River County. Deputy does. Thank you. Any questions? Can you talk about just responding, um, getting to the scene? Of eyewitness accounts weren't sure if anybody was in the car. Talk about what you saw when you arrived and what your first thought was. Well, when I arrived on scene, I was getting dispatched at the same time. Um, as I was getting out of the vehicle, the people that were actually calling in believed that they saw someone in the vehicle still. So. As I arrived on scene, I didn't really know why the car was on fire, so I was looking around for any hazards. Um, I didn't see any down wires or anything, so I opened the door and I was immediately engulfed in the smoke, and I was unable to see anybody in the car. And that once the smoke dissipated out of the vehicle, I was able to see his right hand, and then I reached in and grabbed him, asked him to step out of the car, he told me he couldn't, and that's when I removed him from the vehicle. Was Did he buckled he... in? What's that? Was he buckled in? No, he was not. As far as him not being able to get out of the car on his own, was the yes, that's because of some injury or is he? At that, that time, I was injury or smoke inhalation, or he did have some minor burns or burns that I know of that the EMS said that he was transported to the Orlando Burn Center. Right, you talked about the uh, smoke. How about the uh, the heat when you were first? Coming? At that time, most of the heat was confined to the passenger side of the vehicle. I could see the fire starting in the passenger seat in the front and then working its way to the back. At the, that time, the heat wasn't really an issue for me right at that time. What was your biggest concern while all this was happening? Uh, my biggest concern was getting him out of the vehicle and making sure there was no one else in the vehicle. Once I got him out of the vehicle, I was attempting to get any information out of him. He said there was no one else in the vehicle, but I still went back to the vehicle to make sure there was no one else in the vehicle. Any idea how this fire started? Not at that time. Once the vehicle was removed, I wasn't on scene, so I wasn't sure if he had ran over something and punctured a fuel line or oiled some sort of spark, sparked it away and hit something. Ever have to deal with this before? No, 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 sir. Based on the video, it looks like there might have been as little as 30 seconds between you helping the driver out and before the rest of the car became uh, engulfed? Yes, it, 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 once I got him out and I got back to the vehicle, it was uh, igniting pretty quickly. Did, did, did you uh, have an idea that uh, it was going to be that close of a call as far as the No, no, at that time. You know, this is another example of how the inboard, onboard dash cameras are really showing the heroic efforts of all of the law enforcement members throughout the United States. Uh, contrary to some of the negative things that we see, it's a pleasure to recognize the, the fantastic events that actually do happen in our profession. Uh, can you tell us about how his condition, what you saw there on the scene, and, and what you could tell by just by looking at him and the way he was acting? Uh, he seemed to be that he was injured somehow. He was, during the accident, um, uh, he was definitely had smoke inhalation. Um, I didn't immediately see the burns, but I was monitoring him for breathing and all that, making sure he didn't have any medical crisis until he had asked right on scene. Did the uh, airbag uh, deploy? No, it did not. Looking back on it, had you been much, had you taken much longer to get there to the scene? I mean, who knows what would have happened to this man, right? I mean, the the fire was pretty quickly, as soon as you got him out, fire really, really engulfed that car. Yes, it did. Uh, it was lucky that both me and the caller were in the area to make that phone call and get me on scene. Uh, you may have said this already, but just to reiterate, uh, how, how, how long was it from you getting the call to you making it to the scene? I was actually, actually, I was traveling on 512 eastbound, and I looked down 106th Avenue, and I saw the vehicle on fire, and I did a complete U-turn. I was actually pulling up and initiating my blue lights as the call was being dispatched. Right place, right time? Is that what you said? Right place at the right time. Yes. Did you think about the other 
I guess other car fires that uh, I guess your other I guess the Padres uh, pulled people out of the car. Were you thinking about it at the time when you were? No, I was not. My concern was to get to the vehicle and get the driver out or anybody else that was hurt the vehicle at the time. What are you talking about? These cars that are catching fire. I couldn't tell you. This is a very unusual circumstance to me. I didn't see any type of impact that would probably cause the fire right immediately. Have you spoken with the man or his family? No, I have not. Thank you, guys.